Hey guys, Fusion 360 Evangelist Kurt Chan here, and today I want to show you how I actually create rendered toolpaths within Fusion 360. If you actually look me up under the Fusion 360 gallery, you will see some of the work I've done. And for example, here's this fifth axis tombstone that I rendered, as well as you can look at the BAC mono part that I actually rendered as well. Uh, some great examples here of just how beautiful we can get to that level of, of realistic render and overlaying the toolpath from CAM on top of that rendering. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Within Fusion, under the CAM setting, and once you have your job already set up, go ahead and select a couple toolpaths that you want to render out. Now how this works is I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, control select my scallop, another parallel, maybe even a bore, and then the last parallel strategy I have here. Now the trick is, I'm going to go ahead and now turn off all my components just to show the actual toolpath. Now from here, under the drop down under file, you're going to come out to capture image. And with this capture image, I like to keep it at the uh, 1920 by 1080 scale, 16 by 9. And I like to keep, you have to keep transparent background on. So go and save this off and I'm going to save it straight to my desktop. And then now what we're going to do is turn back on the bodies so we can see everything and then hop back over to now the rendering side of things. You can go ahead and set up all the different colors and the reason why I picked blue is because I'm working with machinable wax as you can see here and we're going to cut it on an other mill machine. Once you get all your colors dialed in feel free to give it a quick preview under in canvas render and I can actually tell that shade of blue that I'm looking for actually matches fairly well with that machinable wax and even the other colors of aluminum for the machine bed as well as the bracket. Now I can also render this locally or why not just leverage the cloud to send my rendering to give me a really crisp image in under a couple of minutes. So under render, I'm also gonna do a custom image size and for that aspect ratio, let's go to by 16 by nine, it gives me 1920 by 1080, it tells me how much, how many credits it's gonna cost and then just send that off to render. I can also check here at the very bottom under the gallery when it's going to be done and all the other images that I've rendered off as well. Once the image comes out rendered, what you want to do is open it up in a editing software. So like Illustrator, Photoshop, or I love using Snagit. So I have both images rendered off. And I'm going to open it up under Snagit. I'm going to zoom out so you can see just how that image came out. But then two, what I want to do is open up the rendered toolpath. We can zoom out and you can see how it exported just the toolpath, but the background is transparent. And what I can do with this now is take that toolpath, control C to copy it, and then come over to my other image that I opened out, control V to paste. And now I can actually move place, even size how I want that toolpath to look. Now, depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, you can really get it dialed into the exact size you're looking for. So there you have it. Hopefully this helped you guys out and showcasing how you can actually take your toolpaths from CAM, export them out, and blend them together with a rendered image. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and thanks for watching, guys.